Yeah, so I was gonna have a video today about uh, the problem with narrative backlash, but then this bombshell dropped, so here we go. This morning, I actually woke up to, I woke up kinda late this morning, but I woke up to news that we're getting a new Gotham series on HBO Max. And not only that, but this series will be a part of Matt Reeves' Batman universe. So at first, THR uh, broke the news, but now we have an official release from Warner Media themselves saying Batman filmmaker Matt Reeves and Terrence Winter set to produce and uh, write and direct a project that is set in the expansive world Reeves is creating for the Batman film. HBO Max announced today that it has given a series commitment to an original DC drama set in the Gotham City Police Department from the Batman filmmaker Matt Reeves and Boardwalk Empire creator Terrence Winter. The Batman producer Dylan Clark and Warner Brothers Television will also be involved. The groundbreaking television series is set to be written by Winter and is set in the world World Reeves is creating for the Batman feature film and will build upon the motion pictures examination of the anatomy of corruption in Gotham City, ultimately launching a new Batman universe across multiple platforms. The series provides an unprecedented opportunity to extend the world established in the movie and further explore the myriad of compelling and complex characters of Gotham. This marks the first television project for Reeves under his recently announced overall deal with Warner Brothers Television Group. So, Talking about that first little tidbit or that little uh, excerpt. Wow, that's so, that was a lot, like right, just right there. We're getting a Gotham police procedural on HBO Max, which is insane. That's just straight up a dream come true. THR said that some are calling it Gotham Central, which if you may know is the name of a very, very famous uh, comic series from Ed Brubaker and Greg Rucka that ran for, I'm not sure how many issues, there's four volumes uh, of it, four collected volumes. It's a fantastic series. I haven't read all of it myself. I've read the first like volume and a half. What I have read is extremely, extremely good. And it's, yeah, it's just what the show sounds like it is. It's set and focused on a on the GCPD operating in Gotham underneath Batman. Uh, Batman is not a main character in the book. He's a shadow looming over the title. It's really showcasing what working in a police department with a vigilante like Batman operating in your city is like. And it's also obviously focused on the corruption and the politics that are involved in Gotham because Gotham is, as I'm sure you know, one of the most corrupt cities in the country uh, and just in comics in general. Getting a show that's that uh, on HBO, it, HBO Max, but I mean, you know, HBO, is crazy. That's so, so exciting. This sounds like it's going to be what Gotham was originally pitched as. Uh, you know, like whenever Gotham was first announced, they were like, oh, it's following, you know, rookie detective Jim Gordon working in the GCPD, like it's before Batman. And like, we got a little bit of that in the first season kind of, but then it very much became its own thing and I like Gotham for what it is. I haven't watched the last season, but I enjoy Gotham. I think once you accept what it is, what it's going for, it's a pretty fun show, but it's definitely not this. And this is very, this is going to be, I feel, I know, grounded, I guess is probably one of the right words, but it's gonna be very gritty, very real. It's going to really bring in that noir element, I feel, and it's just going to explore the corruption. And I mean, as that little, that tidbit said the uh, complex characters of Gotham, the anatomy of the underworld and of working at a police department that has this level of corruption and also operates underneath someone like Batman. Like that's so, so exciting. Then we also have a quote from Matt Reeves who says, this is an amazing opportunity, not only to expand the vision of the world I'm creating in the film, but to explore it in the kind of depth and detail that only a long form format can afford. And getting to work with the incredibly talented Terrence Winter, who has written so insightfully and powerfully about the worlds of crime and corruption, is an absolute dream. This is a pairing made in heaven. I mean, Terrence Winter, some of his um, accolades include... Winter was nominated for 12 Emmy Awards and won four during his tenure on The Sopranos, twice for Outstanding Drama Series, and twice for Outstanding Writer for a Drama Series. He created the HBO drama Boardwalk Empire, which ran for five seasons and earned Winter two additional Outstanding Drama Series Emmy nominations. He was also nominated for an Adapted Screenplay Academy Award for the Best Picture nominated film The Wolf of Wall Street. So, so Winter is definitely experienced in the area of writing about crime and corruption and, and drama for these things and also has an extensive working history with HBO. So that's super exciting. And there are really so many, so many things that you can do with Gotham Central and having this show that is really focused on the characters of the GCPD 
And I feel like Jeffrey Wright's Commissioner Gordon, we don't know as of now whether or not Robert Pattinson's Batman and uh, Jeffrey Wright's Commissioner Gordon will be appearing in the series. I would have to assume that Jeffrey Wright will be, considering from everything that he's posted and said, talking about the Batman, he's super excited for this project, super excited to be playing Gordon, and he has a very long working relationship with HBO given his tenure at Westworld and playing his character on Westworld. So I can only imagine that he would be excited to jump in and do this and contribute to this. So I feel like Jeffrey Wright as Gordon is pretty much a lock. Robert Pattinson's Batman is one that I'm not as sure about. I feel like if we do see him, I think the possibility of seeing him is fairly high, but I think that it will be in very sprinkled appearances that are very uh, small in scale because the show isn't about him. It's about living in a world with him. And so I think there's a big difference there. Either way, I mean, it's just like Matt Reeves' Gotham is one of the things that I was most excited to see about the Batman in the first place. I was really excited to see what kind of aesthetic, what kind of world he created and crafted with this just in the way that he's talked about it and the way that the cast has talked about it. From what we've heard and from what we know, it's just made me so excited. And the fact that we're getting an entire series focused on this, like it already has a series order. Like they said, screw the pilot. This is getting a series commitment just out of the gate. That is so, so exciting. I personally also haven't watched uh, Boardwalk Empire, but you can bet your ass that I'm going to be watching it now. I really want to see what Winter has done with this crime and corruption angle and these dramas before. And so I'm super excited to, to dig into that and really see, get a taste for just the kind of content that we're going to be getting with this. And I'll also, of course, be going back and fin rereading and finishing Gotham Central soon so I can really look at all the different story elements they could be drawing directly from for this. Yeah, there's just so many options and opportunity here. It's, you can introduce a lot of villains that weren't going to appear in the mainline films that Reeves is planning because now we have this other avenue that they can appear on that the GCPD themselves can handle specifically. Gotham has really been being treated as its own character now more than ever before. And we're also going to get to see how the myriad of characters within Gotham are explored and shown in a way that we just haven't seen before. Again, this is also just something it's so new in the realm as far as live action that we haven't seen. And it's just such a great opportunity to see. I mean, Matt Reeves said it like this is going to be a long form narrative that's really exploring things about Gotham and Batman's world that we couldn't do in a feature film and that's just so exciting to me. Also the other thing that I think is a pretty big deal is it says ultimately launching a new Batman universe across multiple platforms. So one this is the first time that it's officially been called a new Batman universe Matt Reeves film has. So like fans have been saying that for a while and speculating that he's going to do obviously three films and there might be other projects and films spun off from this. So now like we have the first one, we're getting an HBO Max show set in this Batman universe. It's launching a new Batman universe. This is literally what the press release says, ultimately launching a new Batman universe across a multiple platforms. And so we can infer this will not be the only one. That's extremely exciting and super hyped at the possibility of more HBO Max shows, more films. And then also someone mentioned on Twitter, they're like, can we expect comics from this? I don't know if I would expect comics from this, but I definitely don't think that's out of the realm of possibility now. Just, yeah, I don't know. This is so, this is so cool. I'm so excited for this. I really think it's going to hit all of the marks that I would really want from just a show in general. And then the fact that it's a like, Gotham show, like this is expanding the world set up by Matt Reeves. He's obviously very intimately linked with this project, this series. Uh, we're getting Terrence Winter, who's a phenomenal creative, creative force, is going to be attached to it and writing it. And it's just, yeah, it's super, super exciting. I can't wait to see more about this. I can't wait to know more. It's just, ooh, I can't wait. The world of Batman is expanding in a way that we haven't seen before. It's really unprecedented. And it, yeah, I'm just gonna say it again, it's super exciting. I can't wait. Basically all that I have for now on this one, this is amazing. This is so cool that we're getting this. I want Renee Montoya to be a main character. I think that she definitely will be. Uh, so her and Gordon, I feel like, will be the two main characters that we'll see in this. It's just, oof, it's so awesome. This is so cool. I guess that's it. If you enjoyed this video, please be sure to leave a like. If you have any thoughts on this, uh, leave a comment down below. I'd like to know what you think about this Gotham series. Uh, what other projects could you see or could you want in this new Batman universe? Do you want comics? Do you want more HBO shows? Do you want more movies spun off? Let me know in the comments below, or you can at me on Twitter at Batman Files. Uh, you can also follow my personal Twitter at AP Batman with two T's if you haven't. Please be sure to consider subscribing if you aren't already and turn that no notification bell on. I really appreciate it and it means a lot. And I'll see you in the next one. Later.